Hello, this is John from PSD Dude, and uh, I want to show you our uh, latest action that we will be posting on uh, Graphic River. Uh, it's called the 3D Isometric Sticker, and uh, it's doing a cool effect, a 3D effect, which I will demonstrate now. So, for starters, I've prepared this uh, PSD file and uh, I want to show you that the action works on uh, raster it works on uh, text and it works also on uh, custom shapes, on vector shapes in order to use the action uh, I put all these three layers and uh, I'm going to select them all and first convert them into a smart object the reason I do this is because the action is only working for uh, one layer at a time. So uh, by doing this I obtained one layer and uh, I'm going to rename it my object. Yeah. Uh, and here I have the four versions of the action. They're uh, called uh, vertical right, vertical left, horizontal right and horizontal left. I will uh, show you one of them and you will understand what the others are doing. So I'm going to choose uh, horizontal left. Uh, all I have to do is click play and the action is working on it now. And this is the result you get. So you get the isometric projection, which is the, this 3D effect. Because I chose the horizontal left, it will tilt the, the object to the left and uh, align it horizontally. Uh, as you can see, I have several layers as a result of the action. One is uh, the, the shadow, which is this one. You can move it around, of course. Also, for the shadow, there are several things you can do. Uh, one of the things is the Gaussian blur. This softens, softens a bit the, the shadow. Uh, also, one thing is that uh, the, the shadow object is a, actually a smart object which you can uh, edit by double clicking on it. And this object is used actually throughout the, the whole hierarchy of objects in this uh, PSD file. So if I double click on it, I'll get into the hierarchy of objects. I can see now the object, the, the first level of the hierarchy. And I can go even further and one step further. And you can see I have my original layer, my original object. Here I can change things, so I can go even further one step and I will, for example, change, uh, let's say I want to change the color of the custom shape, so I will change it, there we go, let's put another color, yep, and uh, now all I have to do is close this down and say save, yes, save, yes, and one more level, and I'm back in the uh, final result, and you can see the color has changed. Uh, another customization that you can do is uh, the thickness of the 3D effect. You see here I have two layers, depth 1 and depth 2. So if I hide one of those, you'll see that the thickness of the 3D object uh, changes. You can also do the other way around. So uh, basically these are the things that uh, you can do for customizing it. Of course you can change whatever you want in the hierarchy of objects like I showed you earlier. One thing to note though is that uh, if you change the object such that the, the size uh, of the entire object changes and you go outside of the canvas, you have to use the reveal all uh, option from Photoshop.
I've prepared also the, the other versions of the uh, action so you can see for, for the same object you can see here the result for the vertical right vertical left and horizontal right uh, actions all of these actions produce the same uh, layers with the different effect so uh, all the customization that I showed you uh, for the horizontal left are also available for this one um, I hope you enjoyed this action and uh, you can buy it on Graphic River the link is in the description of this video and uh, I hope that you also enter our site and this is our Twitter account so you can also follow us on Twitter bye bye